Turn this down. Hey everybody, RK Stud, Robin Crotcher, back with another observation. Unfortunately, it's some more unpleasant news. Uh, it seems there were more shenanigans being pulled lately on this LPW show. So I'm calling out the promoters. Promoter. And I'm also going to call out the wrestler known as Riley Reinhardt. Because apparently... Some Kens and Karens got upset at my buddy Orville, or as we've named him, O-Baby, for the Riley Reinhardt Adam Wick match. And so the promoters take it upon themselves to let Orville know that people complained because they said he was sucking a bottle and grabbing his crotch while he was doing it at the same time. And they said there was video proof. I'm going to let you know right now. The only video proof that I, there is out there. Besides the one that Riley's family. Recorded and put up on YouTube. Which has much higher ratings than mine. But I don't care. Mine's much better anyway. It isn't the fact that. It shows Orville, or we'll just call him Oh Baby, standing in the doorway, cheering on Riley, not doing any of those things. So, now we have it that due to this, Orville is kind of crushed. I mean, I consider myself an LPW super fan, but. He goes beyond the length. He 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 goes up he goes above and beyond. He's had cowbells. He's had air horns. He's had goose hats on. And yet the company is upset with the super fan doing something that I thought was cool and fun. And what other people thought were fun. And also on that, poor Orville, Riley blocked him on Facebook. <clears throat> now normally, I w okay, normally, that's not normally for me. I wouldn't go off. Let me tell you this. Riley, or, or Cody, which is your shoot name, I will tell you this, young man. You're 20. The guy liked you enough to dress up as a baby. With a large diaper and a bib and a bonnet and a big plastic bottle. Throwing out diapers that you used in your match. Pacifiers that you used in your match. You need to learn to grow up, punk. You know, that... I was kind of on the fence about, you know, buying merch from you. What do you think this just did to you? That's an extra $20, $25 not going to you for me. Um, so, in fact, you get the two middle fingers up and you get the I will not cheer or talk to you during the shows. So, that is what you get for being a punk. And, by the way, while I'm going here, buddies, my friends... This is my fan theory, and, you know, with a few exceptions of Mick Foley, well, I'll just throw him out there. My theory is, and it's it's always this freaking work for the majority, the, heel, the heels outside of wrestling are cool as fuck, and the baby faces outside of shows are normal dickheads. And I can tell you I've seen I've seen more than enough baby faces that were dickheads outside of shows. So there you have it, LPW, you lost a super fan. I don't know what this is gonna do when you see me put this up. Uh other than that, I've got an Oh, I have an idea from Orville that he wanted. 
me to try to do. He wanted me to try to get the wrestlers before the show, maybe go to the Strand a little early, get something to eat at the backstage lounge, because they have good food, is try to catch the wrestlers and get a little little shoot interview going. Not, not like a 30, 40 minute one. More like, more like get to know them, where they train, their love of pro wrestling, and ask quite another question or two, which I thought sounded pretty cool. And if I can get most of the wrestlers there to do it, I'm not talking about getting them all to do it at once. Just one or two a show. If I can tell you who I won't be getting, that's Riley Reinhardt. I know where he trained. He's a he's a newbie, but he really needs to learn. Oh, and thank you, Kit Kat, for me meowing.